Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. What's up, folks? How's it going? What's going on, Wilson? Yeah. Thanks for All having right, me. So I'm going to ask you, O'Shea, first, you know, how much of your skill set in basketball has improved by doing a series? <laughs> oh, it's definitely improved. Um, you know, when you're when you're a big kid uh, uh, back in youth days, they got you down low in the paint. Any kid with any type of height, they make you get down there. Um, but, uh, you know, when I'm when I'm going up against these young giants, you know, my man Reggie Wallace made sure I was ready, made sure that I had, uh, you know, had to get your handles up. And, uh, yeah, I definitely got got something for a celebrity game or a few for my man Isaiah. As long as they bring him along, I know I'm a win. Yeah, that's the Google Reggie Wallace's name. Everybody's dropping his name today. <laughs> that's, our, that's our guru, our basketball guru. You know, Isaiah, what's about you? You know, obviously, I, I'm assuming you had to have game coming on to this series. And so did it improve, you know? Did, did you, were you challenged knowing? How many takes did it take for you to get the right dunk, to get the right shot, you know? Mm. Or was it all once? I mean, it really depended on the day. I think I was really challenged by these actors that are, like, picking up this basketball for the first time and just, you know, ex getting better so fast. And I'm like, you know what? I got to keep my game up. I got to stay sharp. I think uh, Jace had a little more skill than me uh, initially. And um, I just got in the lab with my guy, Reggie Wallace. You know, we're going to need a Google profile for him after this one. Mm -hmm. He's really taking my game to the next level, I feel. I remember back in the day when I was in high school, and I remember people used to pick up Sports Illustrated because at that time it was the only magazine that would highlight these high schoolers. And you never knew how far it would go, you know. And here's hmm. a series that focuses on the top players out there, you know. So do you have a new appreciation for these athletes that are in high school that have these pressure of, you know, not only keeping their game up, but keeping their intelligence up that hopefully, you know, whether it's a college or going pro, you know, do you have that appreciation of them for them, O'Shea? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, I knew that once, once I, I heard of this uh, – this kid out of high school, um, uh, Kobe Bryant, you know, once I heard about him, <laughs> I knew to kind of pay, pay close attention that there are people that, that are this good that can come out of school and do major things. And of course you got, um, people like KG and, uh, uh my man, Lou will, um, you know, you got, uh, LeBron James people who are coming out of high school, who are just leagues above everyone but then there are those who have to have that grind that that collegiate uh, uh way of life as well in order to hone in on their skills and it's it's really an appreciation of not only their natural talent but those who put the work in if anything swagger has taught all of us uh who worked on it is that you have to put the work in the like like Isaiah was saying, we had actors on the team who hadn't picked up a ball before, but they put the work in to make sure we had the best piece of art available for everyone to see. And so, you know, what I want Swagger to do is motivate, motivate these young athletes out there to be Jace Carson, you know, to uh, watch out for the red flags that they might have to go through in their journey and recognize that they do have a voice and to make sure they carry themselves with swagger. And I said, before I let you go, can you talk about, you know, obviously being the one number one on the call sheet, you know, where it says your stories. And did you get a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with Kevin? <laughs> number one, I was the two, my brother right there is. Number yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. So you number one in our hearts, baby. You number one in our hearts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, but, you know, we the one-two punch, so it was kind of like, yeah. now I talked to uh, Kevin Durant, you know, he's he gave me a birthday shout out. Um, you know, he texted me on my birthday. That meant the world to me, you know, coming from my favorite player. I talked to him about, you know, just his journey, where he's at, you know, as basketball players, sometimes we think it's a superstition, like, oh, it's these tights. You know, I wear these tights and I'm, I'm oh, these shoes, these Kobe's right here. Woo, these Kobe's yeah. right here, you know? <laughs> and I'm, yeah, instant 30. No, he was really, you know, promoting knowledge of self and 
the work and just, you know, being, you know, striving for perfection. Like he told me that's where he's at with his game, just not missing a shot coming out there and knowing where he's going, you know, already he's got, he's moving with so much strategy and we see it in his game. And that's what we brought back to set, you know, just being, you know, strategic and, and loving, you know, just carrying mm-hmm. this family. It's a fun series to watch. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Keep it happening. We're here to support. Let's hope for season two. Let's make it happen. Talk to you guys down the road. All right, man.